Okay, so we're going to take a look at these different settings we have here at the top. We're a little familiar with presets already, so you have your recommended or your custom. You could select your favorites by hitting the little star and they'll move to the very top so that way it's easily accessible. Um, you could always create a new one based on any settings and parameters you make by just adding the name and to include all those preview and export settings. I'm going to close this and those customs should show up somewhere around here. Now this run here is going to open up your input settings. This allows you to rotate your source. So for example, all right, if you had a black and white video, you're going to want to select this. What that does is it prevents any sort of color data to occur. So that's what that's for. It just keeps everything black and white. If you have an 8mm or super 8mm video or something that's been telecined, uh, this might be a good idea to click this one right here. You don't always have to, but essentially it'll set up um, certain parameters that benefit those types of uh, videos. For input color override, this essentially, if you have a different color space that you would like to add in here, you have a couple different options. If there's a primary, TRC, or a range that you want this is where you could set these options here now this button here is say you made all these different changes if you click this button it just resets everything to the default settings go ahead and close that and now this right here this represents the credits uh you can see here i have zero credits but if i had credits for cloud export um, that will show up here if you click on this it'll show where you could click and buy credits if you need that, if you need to manage your subscription, anything to do with your account settings. This is what this is. All I did was click it and it'll show up. So this icon here will collapse your control sidebar. So let's click that. And that way it shows just the timeline and your player if you want to have less distraction. Otherwise you click it again, it'll just expand the sidebar to its original position.